Hello gamers and welcome back to The Crew 2. Guess what we're gonna do today? Yes! Right, exact what you see behind you. Uh, the Alpha Grand Prix which we unlocked yesterday. I really want to see if we can afford a vehicle to unlock uh, those races. I'm not sure exactly what the Alpha, why it's called Alf, Alpha Grand Prix. Perhaps it is because it seems to contain like <clears throat> Prototypes like if alpha is like prototypes or something. So it's a prototype Grand Prix race Not sure But neat feature which I also noticed uh, Just minutes ago Check this out if you want to see how the car looks in the real world before you actually buy it you can just Enter the buy menu select a different car Without buying it, just leave the buy menu and that would be the one selected for the world view, so to speak. So that's if you want to preview it in the real world for some reason. Uh, let's get right into this and check like the performance and the cost difference between these. Actually, <clears throat> the prototypes may be cool and maybe we want a prototype someday, but I'm also fond of like... It would be nice to have like a, a realistic car. Um, but let's see, okay, so this has performance level 278, 79, 82, 82, 86. Okay, so that has the highest performance level. Can we even afford that? Yes, we can, exactly, with like one grand to spare. It costs 858 almost, and we have 858,721. So we will have less than one grand left if we buy this but that would be totally okay i guess uh, let's see the max performance level is 340 i guess that would be the same for all and i guess i'm just guessing but i it would seem reasonable that no matter what the base stat is all car if they were like maximum upgraded would be able to reach the the max performance level 340 uh, we also have like the handling it seems to be the same for them all and top speed is 340 and 900 340 900 that one was lower that one had 800 brake horsepower for some reason maybe that has the still has higher performance level though that's weird same top speed, lower brake horsepower, higher performance level. Oh, well, might be something else, perhaps. Perhaps it has better brakes or something like that. Uh, but all right, let's see. I said I was want wanted to keep it somewhat realistic. I kind of like this one. What's the difference between the, those two Red Bull cars? They seem to have looked the same, except for there's like a small differences like this has like soft tires they are red on the side and the other one has like medium tires so this then this one should have better grip it has a different back fin it's probably like a different year model perhaps 2018 yeah 2017 so that one costs like 200,000 more Oh, there's a huge price difference here. 857,000, but we could also buy this one for less than half the price. And the performance level difference is 286 and 278. So yeah, all right. There's like eight points. That is as we noticed when we leveled up our drag car, that is quite a lot of uh, performance items. But I still wonder if both of them perhaps would be able to reach the maximum performance level. This one is nice though, it has soft tires. That, that uh, You want good grip, right? And I don't think there's any tire wear in this game, so if you could have good grip. This one has hard Hard tires, there's white tires, white tires on the side. So, if we want to find a good deal, like this has 900 brake horsepower, it's 
somewhere in between in the price range. It has a decent performance level. It only has like four performance level lower than the best one. Um, although this is a bundle. I never bought a bundle, view bundle. What, well, it contains more cars perhaps. Let's see. View bundle. Elite bundle. Um, okay, what does that mean? Because is it, does it mean that it's part of a bundle that you can get a better deal for that one if you buy the bundle, perhaps? Okay, but that bundle is extremely expensive. We can't afford that right now. Ah, now we left the racing headquarters. Let's go back. I think I'm going to go for actually for the Red Bull car. Ah, okay. We do. I thought we went to like the street racing headquarters or something. Okay, we're still here in the pro racing headquarters. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go, like I said, for the Red Bull car. Maybe we buy the bundle get a better deal for this one. I mean, like I said, to avoid more grind grinding, let's do as good deals as we can. But we still want to unlock these races right now, right? So if we would ever want like an extra Formula 1 car, because I guess we want to have as many cars as possible later on, then we will buy the, the bundle. Uh, Let's get this one now. Color, no colors to choose from. Okay, because it's supposed to be Red Bull. Is that boring? Let me just quickly check. If it's not like, can you check, change the color for any of these cars? No. Are all of them static, even these prototypes? You can change color for the prototypes. Hmm. Well, okay, I'm just thinking, maybe we want to buy a hypercar as well. So we want to unlock content so we can do lots of fun stuff. So, and I guess over time we will accumulate money so we can buy the bundle. So still, let's go for this one. No rims to change, let's just buy it. Okay, zip, bye-bye money. 289 grand. How many races did we unlock? Five new. Okay. I don't think the money we have left will be enough for a supercar. Um, let's see. Filter. Um, discipline. I guess we should have a hypercar 13 activities. We want to find, what was it called? Alpha Grand Prix. Okay. So this, we have nine races, but there's like one, two, three, four we can do. Okay, 270 recommended. 270, 270. Okay, nice. All of them are 270. Uh, I don't know if this kind of uh, city, city tracks might be like or tricky, so let's try and get do this Golden Hills race track. Ladies and gentlemen, the purists like Clarence, Alpha Grand Prix is what pro racing always has been and always should be. They're wrong. It's been evolving since the very first lap. Yes, those old cars are classics, but they're not as fast or as safe as what we make today. Change is part of our tradition. Oh, was this a loner? A loner car race? Or a wrong button? No. Why is he talking about like old cars and and not what we make today. This car was on like, what was it? Was it 2018 year model? So it's not that old. Get to this 
starting bread. Right to the right. You have to like move the steering wheel a lot to steer in this in this vehicle. Gonna win this one. I'm used to having to like move the steering wheel so much, but we learn. Also, don't know the map. I'm glad it's not too realistic at the moment because our car would be like already trash. Uh, I thought it was like a full throttle corner. Don't know the don't know the map track. Let's go. Hopefully we can catch up. Taking the corner way too wide. Finding it a bit hard to cut corners sometimes in this game. Find a good like apex. Might also be because I don't know the track very well. First time I'll play most of the tracks so maybe we'll like, fine tune that as we move forward. Like maybe we'll replay these on harder difficulties and then fine-tune this thing. I like this though, it's very fun. Ah, that was better. Starting to get there. I played some of the game F1 2019 I can just say that this Formula 1 racing is nothing like that But still quite fun Oh, that's a wide corner Finish! Boost! Yay! So that car was definitely good enough to complete uh, the races we have unlocked. Perfect, just park in the middle of the track. Nice! like it. Alright, let's uh, apply the performance upgrades. Brakes, that's always good. Gearbox, motor core. That's some good upgrades, I think.
284 performance <clears throat> performance level. Let's see if we can do another one of these races. Maybe do the Absolute City races late. This one is close to California, but seems to be outside. Maybe we do the Miami one latest, no last. You know, it's been a while since I've gotten behind the wheel. What do you say to a three race tour? Me versus the whole team, plus a few guests. Want to see how well the students hold up against the teacher? Sure, let's go. Wonder how it looks if you sit inside the car. I'll probably go like this. Already started to get a bit more used to the car. Let's see how this goes. Another track we never played. I'm all over the track. We we're supposed to use the track, but maybe not in that way. Try and get a fast exit. Ah, oh, that went. Completely opposite, that's what I intended. I, tend I intended to place my car to the right so I could get a good apex. But as soon as I came to the right corner, I was already in the corner. So I ended up in the wall instead, totally bad. It seems very hot, it has a very wide like steer radius. It almost seems like more slippery here than when we drove in the rain in the last track. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just me who's very bad at this. That might also be the case. You see, I'm spinning a lot on this track. On the last track, when we drove in the rain, I hardly spun anything. Fast exit again. Try to not make the same mistake, be prepared for the corner. Yeah, better. Okay, now we gotta hold on to this. Oh, we're spinning span a lot there, it seems, from the skid mark behind the tires. See? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, they I are right knew behind you us. I always were the best racer on my team, but it looks like you're going to be even more of a challenge than I thought. Oh, there is the loot. Didn't even see it. Alright, so we won that, but not by much. That race was actually harder than the, the first one. So let's see. 
Even better brakes. Always a good thing. Suspension. All right. Nice. Let's see if we can do the two last ones as well. So now we go to Miami would be lost. We said we are going to New York. Remember, Alpha Grand Prix is the crown jewel of the pro racing world, and it's where Clarence is true royalty. You want to beat him on his own palace grounds? It's going to take your best and then some. Sure. traffic first dry track nice Let's see if there's any difference in the happening here if we're sliding like mad here as well starting by ending up in the grass again not steering, it's just going straight forward. I'm just steering more and more and more on my wheel, the car is just going forward. Oh my god! That has never happened. Okay, so the better the track is, the worse the grip it seems. Because that has never happened on any of the other tracks. Of course, if we're in a, that type of turn, just full throttle and then enable boost, which doesn't really exist in Formula 1, uh, then we should probably spin out because you have to be much more uh, gentle on the throttle. Um, so yeah, f fair enough. But uh, I just felt it was somewhat inconsistent with uh, the previous races. Let's try it again. Now we learn the track and that uh, often helps a lot. I'm not sure if I should actually change the view, if it would be easier to drive and handle the corners in the speed. You sure this isn't too much for you? No, this is where we are at home. Try to be more careful with the boost, apply it when we have like higher speeds, like a higher gear, or more of straight. Okay, he could take that corner much faster. Maybe than someday it. you'll be able to drive this slick. Twice now, I've been in seventh gear and I think I'm in eighth, so I haven't uh, geared up as I should. And this is not easy though as well, so it might be an interesting challenge later on then we will have upgraded cars as well trying to take this part faster because he overtook me here last time
Yeah, he always sort of chokes me here. Okay, not very beautiful, but it worked. Eventually. Tricky! Sure needs to put some time into this to get, like, get a hang of it. I don't know, maybe it's also easier in first person view. Not sure. Or like... Maybe not in the cockpit. Because that is like very low and hard to see. Often even if that sh should be the most realistic uh, variant or view. Uh, so this is the last one, let's do this one. Uh, but I'm thinking like perhaps in front of the cockpit, like on, on top of the nose. Not like the bumper cam, but the other one. No speech here, all right. No intro dialogue, just go. Fair enough. Ooh, there was like a beep on the radar, so there's a live drop here as well. Mm -hmm. No driving to the grid here. Zoning. Seems like a city street race. narrow part of the for sure. Break, what's the break point? Oh, can't drive through that. Bad positioning, but I don't gonna risk hit the tree. Ah, where's the track going? Okay. We're going forward. Was that a shortcut? I don't know. Avoid the statue. Oh, this is Formula 1 racing for sure. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now what? 30%. This race is crazy. Okay, so we're on the second lap. I recognize this part. Bad corner! Went too wide. We're still a bit ahead. Gotta keep that gap just in case something goes to shit. Then we will be behind real quick again. <laughs> Bicep. Bicep and flew there. This is the long, one of the long straights. We have no boost at the moment. 347. 
Okay, let's see if we get lucky here again, or if we would accidentally hit a tree or something. Ah, oh, I think that w went way better than the last time. Give me a good pace here. I think we got a fair chance of making it. Oh, only 64%. I thought this was like the last lap. There will be more laps. Starting to get a bit of a hang of it. Whoa! <laughs> I jinxed it. Under 47 might be top speed, that's why we're maxed out last lap as well. Same this one. 347 top speed on the boost. Whoa, don't spin. Gonna try to recreate staying the same. Pause this last lap, that went good. Seven percent. Yay! We gotta make it. Woohoo! The park somewhere won't get hit. Nice. So that's all the, what's it called, Alpha Grand Pre-Races. Let's apply the upgrade as well. Yeah, we've seen that one as well. So performance level is now up to 287, which is higher than the, uh, the best model, which was in the bundle. When we, when we bought the car, the most expensive one, which cost like, was it over 800 grand? So now we are already up to 287. Uh, so that's good. Um, I think this will round up today's episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.